So if you can hear growling in the background, I'm sorry, my dogs are like play fighting. Hi you guys, my name is Alexandra and welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here, hi. I have received so many lovely comments and supportive comments from people in the booktube and authortube community and it has completely overwhelmed me. So first of all, thank you so, so very, very much. If you're a new subscriber or I don't know, maybe you haven't even seen this but you're just a nice person, thank you in advance, seriously. I don't think I've ever felt so supported or happy. So I'm so glad that I decided to start posting videos again and um, yeah. I'm just really really excited so thank you so much from like the bottom of my heart let's just go ahead and get started question number one how did you find author tube I think originally I found author tube before it was even author tube and that was through Katie tastic or Katie tastics videos and that was about like how to write it was centered around NaNoWriMo and I think actually I started watching NaNoWriMo videos in particular and it kind of just rabbit hole from there because a lot of the people who were participating were either self-publishing or they were trying to get professionally published. Number two, what genres do you write in? Well, right now I am writing a children's story, so definitely for children, specifically middle grade. So I would say from nine to 13, that's my favorite genre to write for. Number three, what is your preferred writing tense and what is your preferred point of view? So my favorite writing tense for sure is Now I'm thirsty. Like mother, like daughter. So my preferred writing tense is definitely past tense. My preferred point of view, I kind of bounce around from this because I think it can be really fun when it's from a character's point of view, you know, like first person, but I prefer personally writing from third person, I think. But I mean, they're both really, really fun. Number four, plotter or pantser or planter. So for anybody who doesn't know what those terms means, a plotter is somebody who likes to plot everything down and outline. A pantser is somebody who likes to write by the seat of their pants, which means they just kind of write and make things up as they go. And then a planter is a combination. I am definitely a plotter, 100%. In fact, I am so much of a plotter that I like to do individual backstories for every single character and every single setting thing. And I kind of, from there let the story develop in my head and then I plot it all down. If something isn't working while I'm writing it, I'll change it or I'll let certain things happen organically. But I feel like if I don't know how something is going to end and it's just kind of going anywhere, it just doesn't work for me. My stuff just doesn't sound cohesive. Are you self-published, traditionally published, or yet to be published? I am yet to be published someday. Oh, I mean, I am published technically in a magazine, but as far as like my own novel and stuff, not yet. What publishing house are you represented by? And if you're not yet represented by, what is your dream publishing house and or agent? I feel kind of like if I say it, it'll jinx it. So, oh God, I have to skip it. I'm sorry. I sort of feel like this question is asking what boy do you think is cute on the playground? I want it to happen naturally. I don't want to let the boy know that I like him. I want him to come to me and then me to be like, oh my gosh, you're into me? What? I didn't know that. <sighs> sure, I'll go out with you, I guess. Does that analogy metaphor make sense at all to anybody? If it does, let me know. <laughs> Number seven, what author two videos can we expect to find on your channel? So personally, my favorite thing in the entire world is watching things like um, my writing routine, especially when they're themed by the season, like my fall writing routine. I absolutely love vlogs. So you'll definitely receive a lot of writing vlogs from me, some writing routine videos from me, definitely anything involving NaNoWriMo. I'll be vlogging every single day during the camp NaNoWriMo this July and definitely during November's. Oh, and definitely tag videos. I think that the AuthorTube community creates the cutest tag videos ever, so definitely some of those. Number eight, when did you start writing? I had my mother type up like a little mini book. 
maybe since I was six, if you want to count that since she was typing, if you want to say that I was personally writing it, seven, eight. Question number nine. What was the first story you ever wrote? It was called Now You Are My Queen and it was super cheesy. And actually the very first like serious thing that I wrote myself, I was in fourth grade. It was a thing in, in our school, I don't know if it was in a lot of people's schools, where you kind of, you have like writing time every single day and then after like the 10 or 15 minutes of just silent writing, you got to read what you wrote to the class. And I created this little story about a girl who lived on an island and she was in love with the prince and she had to go through all these trials to like prove herself worthy. It was so much fun because I would read it and every, like no one talked. No one was like whispering to their friends. Everybody was just like their eyes were glued onto me. And at recess, people would start coming up to me and asking like, well, what happens next? It like the power, I just, it was like an adrenaline rush like no other and I felt so cool. Then what happened was kids from other classes would come up to me and say, hey, can you can you read what you wrote before because we heard it was really good. Eventually I would read my stories out to all of these, because I went to a big elementary school, all of these different classes and they all wanted to hear and it was so amazing and so much fun and I remember that like it was yesterday and it was just one of my fondest memories. How could you not want to be an author after that, right? Number 10, what authors have inspired your writing the most? I love Roald Dahl. I love the way he wrote the BFG. I was very inspired by that book. It's a really funny book, but also I just thought it was like a very classic children's book with Sophie, you know, and she is in an orphanage and it was late at night. It was really creepy. And then there's all these really, really cool magical elements to it, but it's kind of set in our time. I just thought that book was so charming. I was definitely really inspired, obviously, by Harry Potter. It had a huge impact on me. Definitely C.S. Lewis was a huge, huge influence on me as well. And recently, I've been incredibly influenced by Neil Gaiman, who is my new favorite author ever. Question number 11, do you schedule writing sessions? No, but I am going to start because I feel like that's the only time, that's the only way I really get any writing done. Number 12, do you type on a computer? I typewriter by hand or use a blend so I mostly type on the computer I have a laptop and then I have my Mac here which you can't really see but I also love writing by hand with fountain pens oh and let me show you my favorite ones hold on wait so this one is the Twisby 580 all diamond and this is like the most fun pen ever because it's demonstrator pen so you can like look at the ink swash around I'm like that person who enjoys like shiny pretty things so this is a shiny pretty thing and the ink right now that I have that inked up in is this and it's the emerald green cheval and then the other pen that I've been using recently is this. It is the Pilot Falcon pen. It's so much fun to write with because it's got this really soft, springy 14 karat gold nib and it's so much fun. That is right now inked up in this, which I think is called Kujaku, Kujaku, and it's like a peacock color. I personally like writing on my traveler's notebooks here. I have several different booklets inside. One is just for random ideas, another is is specifically always dedicated to the character that I'm working on and then the last one is usually a setting that I'm working on. I take this with me everywhere. I illustrate in it. I illustrate all of the places and people and things just so that my mind has like a visual of what's going on and actually I watercolor as well all of my characters just so that I can really really get a sense for how they look so that they're real life people to me. The last question, question number 13, what are you most looking forward to now that you're on AuthorTube? The community. I feel like writing is kind of a lonely occupation and it's just going to be really, really cool to connect to other people who are going through the exact same struggles and to feel, again, not so alone. Okay, you guys, that is it for my author booktube newbie tag. Thank you so much for watching. If I have had lipstick on my teeth at any point of this video, I'm very sorry. If you have any suggestions or if you would like to be friends, please leave a comment down below so that I can follow your channel because I am desperate to find AuthorTube people who I have never heard of before. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great day and until next time, reading and writing lovers, keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book or writing a book. Bye!